Okay, listen. I know what you're thinking. The title of the video says the most OP God in Duel, and you're thinking, what about Hebo? What about the gods you banned? What about Kronos? What about Set? You know, like, what about all these other gods? <clears throat> Meow. Those gods are permanently banned all the time, no matter who you play, no matter what you play, no matter what rank you are, no matter anything. Those gods are banned. You can't play those gods. And if you can't play them, they're not OP, are they? But Hades, for some reason, is overlooked. By, by, by the naked eye of man, Hades is overlooked in a way that honestly is disgusting. And you should all feel bad about it. Unless you have been abusing Hades, in which case, congratulations, you've been doing the right thing. Or the wrong thing, depending on who you ask. Um, <clears throat> but, basically, all you're wanna gonna- All you're gonna- Okay. English. All you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go <clears throat> Hades, and obviously as Hades, you're gonna wanna farm to level 20, because he's got such great clear, nobody really in the game can outpressure him. Poseidon has a pretty good shot at keeping up, but I don't think anyone outpressures him, which is what makes him so good. First off, on this map, he uh, pressure is everything, right? And if uh, if nobody can outpressure you, then you are everything. And you know what, viewers? You guys are, are everything, too. Don't let anyone get you down. Um, but basically, what you're going to want to do is you want to go Boomba's Hammer, and you want to go Book of Thoth, and you just want to farm. That, that, that's really it. You just want to farm. You don't even care about fighting. If he comes up to fight you, obviously, like this guy right here is. I can just beat him up a little bit if he wants to fight. Um, out he does. Out he does. Let's see. Um, I'm honestly okay with this because when he goes to clear this wave, I can, I can silence him and really shit on him, you know? All right, awesome. He doesn't have as much lifesteal as he thinks he has. Because normally, you know, if you see a... Uh... Okay, well, that's super awkward. <sighs> All right. See you later, alligator. But... Normally, if you see an Anubis, you automatically assume, ah, oh, they're going to use an ability and heal. But you got to remember, like, he's level 4. He's not going to... Not gonna heal the full HP on, on level four. <clears throat> but yeah, so all you gotta do is farm. The only reason I fought there is because one, I guaranteed I was gonna win the fight because I'm the one that has the XP lead over him. Um, because I got the minis at the red buff here. So I guaranteed that I was gonna win the fight. I was gonna hit level five and he wasn't even if he cleared the wave, <clears throat> which he did. Which I guess just comes with a little bit of knowledge over time. Um... Which is why I just decided to chase him down and, and ultimately get the kill on him because I'm not really scared. Um, he could alt me here. It's not going to do much. And I'm just going to continue with my farm game. Uh, I did have to beat that because, you know, even though... Even though I'm ahead of him, he's still Anubis. He can still one-shot. He still has alt. You know what I mean? So... <clears throat> so the plan is... Let me, just, let me just run through the whole game plan before I... Uh, Get sidetracked. You want to get a bunch of farm. Your whole goal, this whole game, is just to farm. So you're going to get to level 20, ultimately. You're going to have Book of Thoth. You're going to have Polynomicon. You're going to have Boomba's Hammer. And you're going to have Max Cooldown. And your goal is to use an ability, get the Boomba's Auto. Use an ability, get the Boomba's plus the Poly Auto. Use an ability, get the Boomba's Auto. And you're going to be pumping out... So much damage as well as sustaining at the same time that there's almost no god in the game and i mean this realistically there's almost no god in the game that can compete just straight up i don't think there's a single god in this game where i'd be like oh yeah he'd, pr he'd probably beat a, a book of thoth boomba's poly haze a uh, poly hades and this map is about to change by the way once the new patch comes out and um you know, this is the easiest thing to abuse to get a quick GM title. You know, I, I assume after this video comes out, if you play 40 games of Hades, uh, you'll, you'll be GM. I mean, you just don't lose. Unless mechanically you're you're pretty pretty bad, but you'll get better over time. You know, that's just uh, that's just an overtime thing. So I'm going to go Book of Thoth here. 
And I'm probably gonna go into a Genji's. Why Genji's? Because I want max cooldown. Boomba's hammer is 10% cooldown. Genji's is 10% cooldown. And then I can go Chronos Pendant later after I get a Polynomicon to finish off my cooldown. Or I could go something as crazy as Staff of Mirrodin. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what your other items are. The only items that matter are, um, hello, are, <clears throat> are Boomba's Hammer, Book of Thoth, and Polynomicon. Book of Thoth is going to give you all the damage you need. A Boomba's Hammer and Polynomicon are going to give you all the sustain slash also damage that you need. And let's not forget, by the way, Boomba's Hammer, yes, it does, it does, um, heal you for, what, let me see, 10% of your health? 5% of your max health that heals you for every time you auto attack after using the ability, which is bonkers. But it also does 80 true damage. So it's definitely a good amount of damage on its own. Hades has, you know, uh, when you max cooldown, of course, he has so much damage output. He can, he can spam so many abilities. So it can get wild pretty quick. Like I've been saying, we're just going to be farming here. Not much, not much different. Keeping my eye out for a, a sneaky little Anubis. He went over here using his three and whatnot. Okay, this isn't spawning soon, so I'll just go clear the way first. And I'll wrap back around. Probably did his blue buff. I have tabs over every buff in the game besides um besides his blue buff. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with giving him five. Five out of six. I'm I'm okay with giving him one out of six, and I'll keep five. Do not, if he has five buff control, do not be okay with that. <laughs> okay. Be predictable. He does not have ultimate up. Um, he does have Bancroft though, which scares me slightly. He might be able to kill me with all and Bancroft. He's not hitting me. <laughs> what the hell? Why did he, he, he ulted, but he completely missed the entire ult. Did he think he was hitting me? There's no way he thought he was hitting me, right? Oh God. Anyways, let's just continue. That's hilarious. He didn't, he didn't DC or AFK or anything. He just missed. I don't know. And we're going to go into poly already. And blink. Blink is important. Um, The reason blink is important. Obviously against the Hades, you could argue that. Or against an Anubis, you could argue uh, blink's not as important as Aegis or something. But I don't know. I'm feeling kind of confident here. Um, But blink is important because it gives you that initiative where you can use an ability... Like, let's say, let's say they're a little bit low HP. You could maybe use your two and then blink auto them. It'll proc Polly and Boombas and give you sustain if you're a little low HP yourself. And more likely than not, you're going to win that fight if you land a Polynomicon Boombas Hammer auto to start the fight. You know what I mean? Your damage does not scare me. And this is exactly what I mean. Like, nobody out pressures Hades. You just go in. As long as you're not behind, you just go in whenever you want. You kill the wave, and then you run away to keep farming. We are only 400 gold off that Polynomicon. Almost level 20. We're, we're about to be 15 off this wave. I think. I don't know, actually, if XP is that high in duel. Boom. Nope. Not quite. Close. Um, I could probably kill him here with a blink ult. Ah, uh, he had beads up. All right, I'm cool with that too. Just waiting. You can clear this wave and then get that red buff on the left over there. It's spawning. If he ults me, I don't care. And he's not gonna kill me. So. <clears throat> over here, let's spear the Magus. We'll grab this red buff and then we will uh go and get that polynomicon. Yes, yes, yes. 
Ah, uh, that sucks. I definitely would have died there. Definitely would have. Oh, I can steal this buff though. I could get six buff control here. Hello. Okay. Um, I'm actually just gonna back. I don't mind if that goes into tower for a little bit. I don't mind. I don't mind. I currently have six buff control, so it's gonna be really tough to uh to give up more than three buffs from this position. So I should be good to go. I should have from this position. I should have a guaranteed level twenty, pretty much, unless something catastrophic happens. Unless my internet cuts out, or I realize that I'm not actually recording. You know, like something like that would be catastrophic. Um. Yeah, so this is going to give you that 10% cooldown you need at the end. This is giving you 10% cooldown right now. Chronos Pendant is going to give you that remaining 20% cooldown you need for the capped out 40%. You could also just opt into not going Chronos Pendant and going into like a Rod or even just a Karen Coin for Pen. If they're, if they're tanky enough, he obviously has no defense, so I'm not going to go uh, Coin. But um, you have a lot of options from this position. You could even go Doom Orb if their movement speed is really high and you feel like, damn, I really could use some move speed. You could even go do more because the thing is when you're level 20 you can build 40 percent cooldown or you can cheese 40 percent cooldown what i mean by cheesing 40 percent cooldown is a 500 pot gives you 10 percent cooldown blue buff gives you 10 percent cooldown so realistically the only thing you you desperately need in order to have max cooldown is to build 20 percent the other 20 percent can come from a lot of different means and in fact, I think after saying that, because my plan is to get to level 20, and that's what your plan should be as well, you probably don't build Chronos Pendant, instead just go Rod. Get some more damage. It's all about, like, you want that Poly Auto right there to chunk like a maniac. That's your whole goal. And you'll notice, by the way, I'm not caring about Tower. Um, Because once I get Boomba's Hammer and Poly online, like, obviously I have Poly, but once I get Boomba's Hammer online... Um, that thing is going to melt away. It's not even going to matter anymore. Like one auto attack will probably kill that whole tower. All right, there you go. There's a pretty good, um, pretty good, uh, I guess, demonstration of how this build is going to work. Um, you're just going to want to... Blink in, silence him so he can't run or murder you. And then, um, I mean, your alt will do the rest. And if your alt doesn't do the rest, then you have auto attacks that do 420 damage plus 438 damage. Like, you're, you're doing... Hades has one of the highest base auto attacks in the game um, for a mage. I don't know why. And in fact, it actually doesn't make any sense, but it does. And it, um, I guess that's why this build works so well on him because you're already auto attacking for so much. Like I'm sitting on 3k gold and I auto attack for a hundred right there. It's, it's crazy how high he hits, but I am level 20. Um, I can go get that Boomba's hammer. I do want to get this red buff first. Make sure that I secure this. He can have his blue buff. That's fine. I don't mind. Hey. <clears throat> hey. All right. Have that Boomba's hammer. And then I will go. Honestly, I'll go into Rod. And why not get the red buff here? Or the, the red pot here? Get 30% cooldown instead of my 20%. Not to mention, I mean, Genji's whenever a prox gets a second off or gets a, a few seconds off your cooldowns too, so. I am in an insane position to win this game right now. And let me just show you guys, by the way, one auto attack. All right, I, I lied. Hold on. Let me show you guys one auto attack. That did, that did what? 200 damage? And that was without backdoor protections? That's just one auto.
Like, look at that, man. Look at that. So here's the plan. I get my poly auto. And look at that, dude. I get my poly plus my, um... I get my poly plus my... This is the other item called Polynomicon. I combine those and then it doesn't even matter I've no if I have no abilities up. I just walk in and I punch him for just a ridiculous amount of damage. And it just guarantees kills, man. Just guarantees kills. I want to do it again, but my red buff is going to run out. Right there. Oh, I missed my poly auto. Um, I probably could kill here, honestly. All right, GG. That was more just my ult doing everything. So you can see from the one auto attack I did, I get 300 plus damage plus the 100 for my auto. So my initial auto attack that started that fight was 400 damage. And I can do that four to five times per fight if I'm playing it slow. Which really does mean Hades is probably the most broken god in duel that you can actually play. Thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys.